Oh, hello, you're here. Welcome to Little Big Vlogs. Today we're doing something a little different. Normally we go out and do a bit of adventuring, but this, this weekend, this is our first weekend that we've not really done anything. But it's also the weekend where today is the day, last year we moved into the flat. So to celebrate, we decided to spring clean. Yeah, funny. Fun, fun, fun. But anyway, we got rid of a load of stuff and we decided that we're gonna make a few scotch eggs. And these are my famous scotch eggs. Everybody asks me to make them, these scotch eggs, but they're quite a pain in the ass to make, if you wanna be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do, instead of making them for everybody, I'm gonna show you how to make them. So, let's get on with it. Let's make scotch eggs. So this is what we're going to be using. I like to get myself a bloomer. This one here is a salt and pepper bloomer. Normally I will go for a tiger loaf, but this is a change that we decided to make today, just, just to see how it goes. Then get yourself three plates, egg on this one, flour on this one, and this is where your breadcrumbs are going to go. Six decent eggs to actually make the scotch eggs with. Always have some eggs here, because it always comes in handy with the flour. So when you wanted to cover the egg, cover the sausage, just to help it bind a little bit better. Got myself some decent sausages there, got some Cumberland sausages. You can use any kind of sausage meat you like. This is the one I like to go for because Cumberland, it's, it's got a nice taste to it and they're, they're all really seasoned. So then I've got some chives, some parsley, a little bit of mild chilli powder which I like to give a little bit of a kick and also to sweeten the meat a little bit, a bit of sp sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut the bread and we're going to take all the top off the bread and basically use the skin. So let's start with that. What are you doing? What do you want, nosy? Are you making scotch eggs? I am, yes. <gasps> you are? Yes, but you're not coming anywhere near Can them. I make them no, with you? No, no. Please. No. What are you doing? The last time I gave you anything to cook, you burnt it. <laughs> that was one time. I'm of course you can help me. Yay. Right. So what are we doing? So. What I'm doing here is cutting the bread, cutting around the edge of the bread so I can pull the top off of it because this is what we're going to use for the breadcrumbs. Okay. So, and then if you like, you can pick the bread afterwards. There you go. Let's try and get all the soft bread out. Just use the top of it. Do you not use the soft bit? No, just use the hard bit there. And I've left it out all day as well, so to give it a bit more crisp on the top. Right, so we're just using that bit. That bit can go over here. You can pick it that as you want later. Then what we're going to do is I'm actually using a juicer because I haven't got a proper blender, <laughs> but it works just works just as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend all this up. And this is going to be our breadcrumbs. Mm How many are we making? We're making six eggs. Well, we're going to try and make six eggs. Okay. But the issue with me is I don't, I don't like picking eggs. I don't like uh, cracking them. And de shelling. De shelling. <laughs> That's the biggest drama yes. when we make eggs, isn't it? Especially when you're trying to keep them runny as well. Yeah, we like a runny yolk. So this is your prep set: breadcrumbs, flour, egg. This is for when you've cased the egg inside the meat, roll it in the egg, roll it in the flour, roll it back in the egg again, and then roll it in the breadcrumbs. Then, into the fryer. So that's basically your prep. All I've got to do is the sausages, that's the last little bit. I've got to cut the skins off of the sausages, mix it with all the different bits of uh, herbs and spices, sweet baby rays, off we go. So, stage two, sausages, done. done. Now, let's give it a little bit of chives. 
Do it Jamie style. Little shake and you sort it. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Basically, <laughs> the weight of this is that. A little bit. <laughs> some. <laughs> some. We'll put some herbs in. Don't put so much chilli. Oh my gosh. Blow your head off. <laughs> 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 oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. Chili powder. Chili powder. Done. Sweet baby rays. Sauce. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. We like a bit of sauce. Ooh, saucy. <laughs> <laughs> can never have too much, can you? Right, so that's all your parsley and your chives and everything and your sweet baby rays. That's my choice. You can choose anything you like. You can have anything you want. Barbecue sauce, sweet and sour sauce. You name it, you do it. Right, so there's your sausage meat. That's that bit done. So we've got basically the prep done now, other than the eggs. So step three, boil the eggs. And the reason why I boil the eggs last is because it gives the breadcrumbs that I've crumbled up a little bit more time to crisp up and basically stale up a little bit. So right, next step, boil the eggs. The water's bubbling. The timer's set. Eggs, go. Eggs are peeled and ready to go. We've got a couple of deformities. But <laughs> <laughs> it happens in the odd one or two eggs, but that's okay. It, it all works just the same. Work. Okay, so what do we do first? Right, so get your egg. Let's roll it in some flour. This will help it from not splitting when you've got it in the fryer. Get yourself some meat. This is uh, it's a trial and error when you've got your meat. You want to try and make sure it's needed enough so and every now and again you might have to run your hand under the tap because obviously the meat will get a bit sticky which will make it hard to work with so once you've done it into some sort of patty like that put on some cling film why the cling film will help when you're rolling it into the egg and it just just helps you with shaping it and also your hands get sticky as well so by doing it like that, you can get the first shape and then you can carry on by rolling the egg. So there's your floured egg. Jamie's helpful hints. It's actually very soft, the egg, because the, uh, as far as I can tell, the egg is still runny inside. So, that's it. And that helps you close it. Again, for your first egg, it's all trial and error when it's, you've got the meat. You've got to work out how much meat you need. So yeah, just try and bring it. I think if you're doing this for the first time, get about 12 eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I would definitely this say that. This looks really fiddly. So right, there's okay. the first one. Just make sure it's all closed, otherwise it will split under the heat in the fryer. Show us. So, then what you want to do... It looks like a big meatball. Roll it in your flour. Normally I'd roll it in the egg and the flour, but if you roll it in the flour first, just to make sure it closes everything, seals it all up. Then roll it in your egg. That's it. And then, then roll the it in the breadcrumbs. Bread That's it. And you are going to make a right mess and you do need to wash your hands after every single egg made, otherwise you're just going to end up with sticky bits of bread all over your hand. So. God, it's a big old there size. There you go. That's Look how you that. make your eggs. So that's oh. going to go into what? The fryer? That's going to go into the fryer. That will go into 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 150 degrees Celsius. And you cook them for between four and six minutes. So what we have here is the result. Three eggs. Yes, I destroyed half of my batch. 
I always seem to make at least five eggs, but sod's law, when I get the camera out, I always tend to do something wrong, and this time, three of my eggs got blown up. However, hidden Mickey. Oh, look at that, yeah, hidden Mickey. 